Today we'll see the basic building blocks of SQL. Without these commands, we can't able to do anything in SQL. So you should have better understanding of the following commands. With the real-time scenario, we'll see what exactly these commands look like. Consider XYZ as one project. In that one project, A and B are two new PLS SQL developers tagged to this project. Then the respective manager will raise a DBA request to provide privileges to this particular two users. So the DBA will, uh, will provide uh, grant privileges to these particular users. Then the manager given some tasks to perform. He has to build one table by using DDL command we can able to do. Then the second task is to insert some sample data that is DML command. Then if you want to store the data permanently by using TCL transaction control language that is commit. Next task is to query the data that is DRL, data retrieval language. By using select command, we can able to retrieve the data. After some time, B has been moved to other projects. Then the manager will raise a DBA request for want to remove the privileges so that he can't able to access the particular database again. Consider database. In the particular database, once database is there, we should have the privileges. Privileges in the sense like data control language. Once we have the privileges, then we can able to perform any operation that is creation of tables. Once we have a table, we need to insert the data that is data manipulation language. Once we have inserted, we need to store the data permanently that is transaction control language. Once data is there, you want to retrieve the data that is data retrieval language. By using select query, we can able to retrieve the data. Like this, we should understand the concept so that it will be easy to understand what exactly these commands look like. Now we'll see each command in detail. First one is the DCL, data control language, which is to control user access in database, mainly used for security purpose. First one is the grant. Grant command is used to provide privileges to the particular user. Next one is the revoke, which is to take back the permission from the particular users. Now we'll see the syntax of these two commands, grant. Grant all privileges to particular user. By using this command, we are providing all privileges to the particular user. So for particular table, for particular user, we are providing the privileges. So execute in the sense like if you want to perform any, po any package compilation, we are using this command. Next one is revoke all. We are taking the permission from the particular table to the particular user. Next one is the DDL, data definition language. By using this command, we can able to create new table, alter the table definition, rename table, and remove the data. And also we can remove the table from the entire database, from the database. These are auto committable. In DDL, we have create, alter, truncate, drop, and rename. These are the five commands we have in DDL. First one, create a new table. This is the syntax. If you want to add new column, by using alter statement, we can able to do. Remove the data from the particular table. By using truncate command, we can able to remove. If you want to remove the particular database, particular table from the database, we can use drop command. So if you want to rename the table by using rename command, we can do. Next one is the DML. DML in the sense like data manipulation language. By using, the, by using these commands, we can able to do insert data, modify the data and delete the data from the database. So DML are uh, not auto committable. So we need to provide explicit commit for it. In DML, we have insert command, update command, delete command, and merge. Most of us know insert, update, and delete, but merge doesn't know. So you should have better understanding of merge as well. Syntax for DMLs. So if you want to insert new data by using insert into approach to, if you want to insert 
without specifying the columns. So update statement, delete statement. These are the syntax for DMLs. And I will see the syntax for merge statement. So by using merge command, we can able to perform update, insert, delete at a single time. Next one is the TCL, transaction control language. The operation which we perform by using DML commands are called transaction. This transaction need to be either permanently slowed or revoke from the database. By using commit, we can able to store the data permanently or by using rollback, if you want to uh, discard the changes, you will we'll use rollback. Next one is the save point. Most of us know commit and rollback, but save point doesn't know. So you should have better understanding of save point also. So commit is used to make the changes permanently into database rollback. So if you want to undo the changes. Next one is the save point. Save point is like, acts like a marker. It allows a partial rollback roll back the simple example we understand what is save point insert table save we are putting one save point a update table we are putting another save point putting three in save point c this is called one transaction we're putting marking as save point a save point b save point c so if you want to roll back to be in the sense like it will remove the last third statement that is delete statement only insert statement update statement will be available if you want to store these two transaction will put commit or else we can put rollback so that entire changes will not be reflected into the particular database next one is the drl that is data retrieval or query language to extract or fetch the data from the particular table select statement This is a syntax to query and to fetch the data from the particular table. Here star is called projection operator. It will project all the columns in the particular table. So if you want to specify particular columns, then we need to mention the specific names of the particular column in that particular table. So if you want to filter any condition, we'll use spare. Multiple camel. Once you are good with basic SQL command, then you should aim for interview questions on this particular commands. First one, they will ask the differences between delete and truncate, delete, truncate, and drop. A complete video is made on delete and truncate. In the description section, I have provided the link. Please go through it. Next question is that uh, syntax for merge command. This is the command, this is the syntax for merge command. When condition matches, we can able to perform update and delete. When condition doesn't match in, we can in insert new record. So next question is that I need to remove all the data from the XYZ table. What is your approach? We'll say delete from table name, but the exact answer expected is the truncate table XYZ because truncate is faster, uh, faster when compared to delete and also it will reset the high watermark. So is merge is a DDL or DML command? It is a DML command. So try to practice these commands so that you'll be comfort in tables. Next topic is that reverse of a string. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.